Good morning, guys. So, uh, right, let me get the hair out of my mouth. <laughs> right, this episode is going to be about cost of living in Phuket, uh, 2023 in Thailand. But I've got a slightly different spin on it because I think there are so many videos on YouTube telling you how much accommodations are, how much this are. What I will do for you is to tell you how you can save up to $500 per month. I'm at my lake, as you know, and if you've been following me for a while, I come here quite a lot to film. I feel very comfortable, very relaxed. So, and if you're not following me, why are you not following me? I'm not happy about that. So please uh, hit that subscribe button if uh, you know, you're know you planning to move to Thailand or you're just traveling to Thailand. I, I share a lot of information about Thailand, cost of living, what to do, what not to do, uh, best practices, etc. Make sure you guys stay right till the end of this video as I will share the best tips on how to save money in Thailand. Right guys, so you are ready for this information. And, and listen, I'm gonna give you loads and loads of different options. And some may save you $10, some will save you 20, but just wanna give you a variety of techniques of how you can save money um, living in Thailand. First of all, as you know, you cannot drink tap water here. And a lot of people here, even when they cook, they don't use tap water. So imagine if you're cooking, making teas, coffees, drinking water, and you're gonna drink a lot, um, you will drink from three to six liters a day. If you're exercising like myself, there are days when I actually drink six liters because you sweat, it's too hot, and you just need to hydrate yourself. So, <laughs> so the water's gonna cost you a lot. What I recommend, there are these machines, um, like I have one in my apartment where you can bring your bottles and fill it up with the water and one litre only costs one baht. So you will be saving, yeah, quite a bit if you're going to use the water in these machines rather than buying it in the shops. Next point, I would recommend renting an apartment with a washing machine. If you're gonna, there are loads of laundry places and they are located literally um, next to most condos in all areas. Uh, probably every five minutes when you drive, you will see laundry places. But if you're gonna wash your clothes quite often, um, and you will wash them quite often, because as I said earlier, you will be sweating a lot. Um, so pretty much I would wear this and it goes in the wash straight away, so you can't wear something twice. Um, you will be spending quite a bit on laundry, and if you want to use a hot water in a laundry, obviously, which I do, because I want to make sure the clothes are clean, and there's like no bacteria and stuff, they charge you more for using hot water. So, um, yeah, make sure when you are looking for accommodation, if it's a villa, if it's a condo, um, that you have a washing machine included. This tip I'm gonna save you the most. If you're planning to come here, let's say for three slash six months, I would recommend getting an accommodation for a year contract. Like I'll give you an example. My room now, the landlord wants, if I rent it for one year, 15,000 baht. If I rent it for six months, 18,000 baht. So you do the calculation. So it's better to take for one year and then sublet it. Some of my friends, after subletting their you know, properties, accommodations, they've actually made money. So they went back home and were still earning money from the accommodation here. So of course, if you come at the, during the low season, May to September and lock a one year contract for accommodation, you talking, you will be saving at least $300 per month. Purchase a bike, don't rent the bike. If you're here for more than three months, it is worth purchasing the bike. Like I've done the biggest mistake ever. I was renting for nearly a year <laughs> or, or, or seven months, something like that. But basically at that time that I've paid for rental, I could have bought a new bike. 
but yeah I was just like oh I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay here oh I don't want anything any responsibility but it's not responsibility you just sell it and you sell it on Facebook marketplace so it's not a brainer um, so definitely purchase same same actually with a car if you're here for more than six months or a year buy a car buy it in Bangkok drive it fly to Bangkok buy a car then drive it back to Phuket if you are living in Phuket it will save you a fortune food will be your second or in my case number one expense <laughs> I love my food so if you go out three times a day for, these sunglasses are getting on my nerves what do you think about the sunglasses by the way do you like them do you know how much these are two dollars sheen rocking it <laughs> I actually have an episode about sheen this is ah this is another one don't buy clothes in the mall order them on sheen clothes accessories towels yeah sheen lazada boom i will share the episode about sheen at the end of this video so yeah don't miss out because then you'll know what's what so where was i oh cooking so if you cook you will save a fortune Three shops that I recommend to do your weekly shopping is Super Cheap, Big C and Macro and of course Market. So go there, buy your weekly shops um, and then just cook. It's so much cheaper because if you're going to eat out, I would say on average each meal is like 200 baht. So that's like, anyway, do your own conversion because I don't know where you're watching me from and I don't know your currency. Um, yeah, if you cook, half, maybe even less. So that's another great tip for you. Another thing that will save you money is if you watch loads of YouTube video rather than researching it uh, on all other websites about the information, uh, you know, regarding the information about Phuket and Thailand. I spend so much time, like for example, you know, how to get a driving license. I swear to you, I spend like eight hours just just really searching for all the information and for me when I calculate how much is my hourly pay and I think okay eight hours times my hourly pay these driving license are like gold now so I would probably contact me for one-to-one -one consultation where I can save you so much time because I've done all that research as you know I've been living here for over a year now so I, I know my stuff this way we can you know you can send me a list of questions that you have and uh then we can go through it all and i can tell you the best way to go about things and where you don't waste time researching it um yeah and of course my channel my channel got so many videos like how to extend your visa and immigration so things like that have a look at it and uh watch videos before you decide to do anything with a consultation uh, the details are in description below so how to book it how to pay for it and then yeah and then we can chat and if you feel shy we don't have to do a video call uh, we can do an audio call so let me know and I'll be very happy to meet you <clears throat> face to face or here in Phuket if you arrive or Bangkok <clears throat> by the way I'm going to Bangkok mid-May so if you're there give me a shout <clears throat> sorry what's wrong with my voice I have a lot more to share, but I think this video is going to be like half an hour long. And I know, guys, you don't have so much time, so I want to be respectful of your time. I think that's it for today. If, if you feel that I need to create a part two and talk more about saving tips, um, then let me know in the comments below. And like I said, um, please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything but it would really support my channel growth. And also it will motivate me to create more videos like this. So don't miss me too much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.